Hey guys, I am XXI Nightmare X, bringing you a gameplay commentary, and um, I'm here with a special guest. And go ahead and introduce yourself. I am uh, Father John with FWI and I. Uh, we we uh, decided we we're gonna play some zombies, and uh, it turned out pretty well. New to zombies. Yeah, we're we're fairly new to zombies, and. So, if you're going to judge, then don't. Because <laughs> it'd probably be a very bad thing for you to do. Anyway, let's get on to a subject. Um, I'm sure all you guys know that uh, Call of Duty will be making uh, the Ascension Map Pack, which is coming out early May, which is good for John because his birthday is uh, May 2nd. Yes, yes. Which is why I'm excited. Um, I'm personally looking forward to the zoom map. I think that's going to be really fun. The zoom map. Um, uh, yeah. Looking forward to the zombie map too. Since found like a new block for zombies. Man. I think we both did. <laughs> yeah. But um. Anyway, uh, zoo. I think the most, the one I'm looking most forward to as well is probably zoo. Because I've never seen a Call of Duty game set in a zoo before. <laughs> I know a lot of talk about like how lions could first like animals back to it. I think that'd be really cool. Like how they did. Uh, I like how in their yeah, like, their first perfect. in their first map pack, the, their uh, two of their maps uh, actually, I believe, yeah, two of their maps, I believe, are actually have. Three of their maps, man, I'm such an idiot. Three of their maps have an element that we've never seen in a Call of Duty game before. And yeah. and Berlin Wall, it has the auto turrets in the middle, and, uh... What is it? Radiation. <laughs> and, uh... Scotch, I mean. Discovery has, uh, the cliffs that break. And, uh... What else? What's the other map? Uh, I completely, I'm completely spacing right now, guys. Block, right? No, no, I mean the new map pack. I, I'm in the new map pack. Can't read it well. And uh, Kowloon has the uh, zip lines. So, I believe we may have like some sort of, you know, spot on the map, zoo, where if you fall into it, you can get mauled by tigers. And if that happens, then uh, I'll tell you right now, I would be the first one to buy that map the day it comes out. Because... <laughs> That would be so awesome. Well, it would be awesome when you get a good part of that. Of course, of course. I think, uh, I think, this, uh, hotel may be the same thing as, uh, high rise. I hope. Because <laughs> I, 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 for one, wasn't a big fan of Modern Warfare 2, and I'm, I know John wasn't as well. And many of you guys may, will, may be, but, uh, I believe that it, it was just too unbalanced. And I'm sure a lot of people will agree with me. One of them being John. <laughs> but, uh... I hope that they do something innovative, at least in one of their maps. Because John didn't end up getting a uh, first strike. Yeah. Well, I didn't hear that great of fans about that map bag, so... I didn't really want to spend money on it. You know, the the only map I really like out of the new map packs, personally, is Stadium. But, uh, other, other than that, then, there's nothing really... Yeah, they didn't look too special. <laughs> they weren't too that. They weren't, they were, in a way, but they weren't that special, really. Well, I would definitely buy the uh, new map packs, but not much true. So, uh, I've been hearing a lot, I've been hearing a lot of speculation of, uh, possible... Uh, what is it? Uh, possible World at War maps being brought into Black Ops because, as we all know, Treyarch is was uh, the producer for World at War, and I've been thinking that maybe they would be bringing in uh, World at War maps into this game, and if that happens, I'd, I'd bring it on because. I, for one, loved the World at War maps because yeah, they, really they were they were so big and they were great. They were it was a fun game, 
And of course, like every Call of Duty, it had its flaws, but you know, it was definitely not the worst game out of the series. Yeah, definitely not. So, uh, I think we make it to like round six this game. <laughs> six or seven around there. Yeah. Um, we're we're not pros at it at all. We were um, we were just doing it for fun. <laughs> And, uh, anyway, um, John, ah, uh, fuck, man, I, I don't really have a subject at all. The, the new map packs, they should be great, and, uh, and I think we can get on to, anyway, uh, I think we get on to a subject like, uh, I think I, uh, am gonna do a Road to Commander series. Also, I forgot to mention, uh, new map packs equal double XP weekend. Oh, Actually, yeah. I'm wondering if they're going to do like a 24-7, kind of like maybe a 24-7 Newtown, maybe a 24-7 firing range or something like that. <laughs> They'd probably do it with a map that's very, uh, very popular. And uh, Newtown was popular, so I'm guessing that's probably why they did Newtown 24-7 for the first double XP weekend. I wouldn't mind seeing 24-7 uh, Newtown again. I really like that. It was very insane. John actually has a game in his uh, file share of him yeah. playing Demolition on Nuketown, and he did outstanding. And every time we play Demolition in Team Tactical, oh, yeah, it, it doesn't even come close. And I don't know how, but we, we seem to do pretty. He seemed to do pretty well there, and uh, it was definitely something. <laughs> So at least you're doing Road to Commander? Yeah, I am thinking about doing a Road to Commander series, and I know a lot of people, a lot of commentators are saying that they're going to. But, uh, I think that, uh, it's, it's a way to get me to Prestige. <laughs> because I am a, I am a first Prestige, rank 50, and I, I really don't I, want to Prestige. I'm trying to, like, nag them more to Prestige. <laughs> But trying to get pro perks. Yeah, I was. I was originally gonna try to get every single pro perk in the game, but yeah. um, it, it was, <laughs> it was fuck, it was getting hard. <laughs> and I know you should never quit when things get hard, but you know, flak jacket pro seems like almost impossible to get. Because yeah, everyone uses semtexes. Everybody yeah. uses semtex grenades. <laughs> I mean, and and when you get a frag grenade towards throwing you, uh, thrown towards you, I should say. Yeah. They, they just cook. They just yeah, they just cook it and it just blows up in your hand. It's like impossible. I think Treyarch should just get a new challenge for that. Yeah, in my opinion, that it should be like evade f five grenades or something, maybe fifteen grenades or something. Well, I, I believe that's already a challenge. It's like yeah, yeah, my third. Survive fifteen explosives or something. Let's see, you know, I only need the uh, five frag throwbacks. That's all I need too. I mean, flag jacket pro is is simple yeah. to get, but every prestige that's the only challenge. That that pro. I mean, even when I even when I got hardline pro, I thought it was the hardest perk to get and. Yeah, that was it was so simple. A caveman could do it. Um, so if you like this, make sure to give it a like rating. And uh, don't oh, forget love it when you like it. Yeah, I love it when you like it. White boy reference. And uh, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe. And uh, thank you. Have a nice day.